Welcome everyone. My name is Robin. I'm a Turgar facilitator based in Scotland. I'm very happy to be joining you all today. Great to see we have lots of people joining from all around the world. I really appreciate these opportunities to connect you all and practice together. So thank you everyone for joining. And please do let us know where you're where you're joining from. It'd be great to, to hear from you all. So in last week's teaching, Minjur Rinpoche spoke about the various life lessons that can be taken from the coronavirus situation. And the emphasis of the teaching was on the importance of appreciation. So appreciation for our own personal qualities and appreciation for the various positive outcomes from the coronavirus pandemic. And Rinpoche spoke about our our negative bias, our tendency to always focus on the negative over the positive, to perhaps exaggerate the negative, while, while perhaps not recognizing or not giving significance to the many positive aspects that may be, that may be present in our lives as well. And Rinpoche really emphasized the um, importance of, of recognizing and acknowledging these qualities where Although um, we, have, we all have these many wonderful qualities within us, which are present all of the time, um, although they're always present, if we, if we don't acknowledge them, if we don't recognize them, then they may not actually be of any benefit. Whereas if we can bring awareness to these qualities, if we can acknowledge and recognize these qualities, then, then there's really the opportunity for, for genuine growth and transformation. And similarly with the coronavirus situation, of course, there's the many, the many different challenges and difficulties, the many different negative outcomes um, from this pandemic. But at the same time, there's also many positive outcomes as well. And so Rinpoche gave some examples of, of for example, relationships where many people maybe find that their relationships have benefited from this situation where others perhaps with a lot of extra time on their hands have, have used that time to, to study and learn or develop new skills or find new interests and so on. Or for other people, maybe through facing great, great difficulty, through being pushed out of their comfort zone, they've, they've had to develop greater resilience and a greater ability to, to face difficulties. And through that have grown and developed greater, greater inner strength. And then, of course, we have the many different environmental benefits that we are seeing all over the world and so on. And so Rinpoche really emphasized here, again, the importance of, of not only focusing on, on the negative aspects, but to, to recognize and acknowledge the, the many positive outcomes as well. And so Rinpoche led us in a guided practice where we cultivated a sense of appreciation for the many positive outcomes of the coronavirus situation and appreciation for our own qualities as well. And so today we'll be, we'll be following on um, with this theme. We'll have 20 minutes or so of guided meditation where we'll bring awareness to our own positive qualities and to the various different positive outcomes of the coronavirus uh, situation. And in this, in this practice, there's, there's no need to try to force any particular um, positive experience, no need to force any particular type of experience at all. We simply bring awareness to these qualities, we recognize these qualities, and then naturally our appreciation and gratitude can grow and develop. So yeah, really, really great to see more people commenting from all over the world, from Mexico, Netherlands, Arizona, Switzerland, Portugal, India, Minneapolis, Argentina, and many, many other places as well. So thank you, everybody, for joining. Really great to, to be here with you. And perhaps we can just make a start by, by getting comfortable in our seat, finding a, a posture that feels comfortable and relaxed. It's also present and alert as well.
And we can begin by just taking a few moments, a few moments to reflect, reflecting on our intentions for, for practicing today. What is it that's be behind this wish to meditate? And then we can perhaps consider that whatever these various intentions may be, that all of us share this, this common wish to be happy and to be free from suffering. And perhaps we can form the aspiration that by, that by practicing together today, that we're not only benefiting ourselves, but that these benefits may, may reach all beings. And just once again, bringing awareness to our posture. Just aware of our, of our body sitting on the chair, on the cushion. Sense of mind and body resting together. <clears throat> And we can place awareness at the top of the head and just simply, simply aware of any sensations that may be there. And just slowly moving that attention downwards through the head and the face. Perhaps releasing any tension and observing sensations as we continue to move awareness downwards through the neck into the shoulders and down into the arms and the hands. And then aware of the upper back and the chest. And continuing to move down through the torso. Into the lower back and the abdomen. Perhaps feeling the contact with your seat and the weight of the body. And 
continuing to move down through the upper legs and into the knees. Into the lower legs and the feet. And then we can rest awareness with the sense of the body as a whole. No need to focus on any particular area or any particular sensation. Simply resting awareness with the body. <laughs> And then turning, turning our attention to the breath. Just continuing to breathe naturally. Aware of whatever sensations we may feel the breath. Perhaps moving in and out of the nose or the mouth. Perhaps the chest or abdomen rising and falling. We're simply knowing that we're breathing. As we continue to be aware of the breath, perhaps having a, a sense of appreciation for the breath. Appreciation for this life-giving oxygen that we're continuing to breathe in. and appreciation for, for this human body. With all its wonderful faculties and abilities. And perhaps just acknowledging how 
how wonderful this, this body is with its various senses, its various faculties, various complex processes keeping us alive. This capacity to be aware of our environment. Perhaps having appreciation just for the very fact that we're alive. And can that can that fact alone be a source of great appreciation? And recognizing this incredible faculty of awareness which we all have which is always present in all of our experience. And for a few moments, we can just let go of any particular technique or any particular focus and simply be with awareness itself. And now perhaps we can bring to mind whatever positive outcomes we may be experiencing due to the coronavirus situation. Or learnings or positive outcomes have there been in our lives? And whether it's relationships that have benefited or our own learning and growth, whether it's appreciation for, for the opportunity for personal development or 
our meditation practice may have benefited, whatever it may be. We're just simply acknowledging these positive outcomes. And just resting, resting the mind with that, with that sense of appreciation. Perhaps having a sense of appreciation for, for the teachings we've been able to receive. <clears throat> and perhaps appreciating these, these opportunities to, to practice together with people from all over the world. And then once again, we can let go of any particular focus, let go of any particular technique. We can simply allow the mind to rest naturally. So resting in open awareness, Not necessarily meditating, yet present and aware.
And just to conclude, we can return to the aspiration that we're not only benefiting ourselves, perhaps finding a way to dedicate whatever benefit we may have gained so it may be shared with all others. Okay, so thank you, thank you everybody. Great to practice with with everyone again. Um, if you're new, please please remember to subscribe to to the Taga Meditation Community channel, and you can receive the updates about the various online offerings that are happening. Um, there have been some slight changes to the standard schedule now, so. Mindra and Bache will be uh, teaching this Sunday on equanimity in uncertain times, but then he will be um, only teaching every two weeks from now on. So Mindra and Bache will teach one Sunday, and the following Sunday, one of the Turgar instructors will give a talk, and then the following Sunday, Rinpoche will be back again, and so on. And now the <clears throat> um, meditations like this one with the Turgar facilitators, They'll be happening on Tuesdays and Fridays. So look forward to seeing seeing you all again. And hope that hope that was helpful. Hopefully it was of some benefit. And look forward to seeing you all again soon. So thank you everybody. Take care.